All right, hello everybody. Today we are taking a look at the HTC Titan 2. Now, just keep in mind, guys, we are reviewing a phone that has Titan misspelled in its name. All right, so, so the phone is the the name is spelled T Y T N for some reason. Kudos to HTC because I think it takes a lot of guts to make a flagship and then misspell the name. So yeah, that's funny. But then again, this whole phone is funny. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I quickly want to tell guys how old this phone is. All right, so this, the HTC Titan was launched all the way back in 2007. Now that's 12 years ago. That's insane, that's so long ago. Now I want to answer the question, does this phone live up to its name in 2018 well it's almost 2019 the HTC Titan well no no it doesn't it's not a Titan anymore in 2018 it's 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 snappy for its age you know but in the real world in real world usage it's <laughs> it's painful to use it's painfully slow it's crazy about the only uh, saving grace for this phone is the battery I'm really surprised the battery takes ages to charge like I left the phone to charge overnight and it still wasn't full but uh, the standby time is crazy I left the phone for about two days just laying around here and it's still at like uh, more than 60 percent the, the battery is insanely good for its age I don't know why the battery still works I mean it's not supposed to work I also did not replace the battery so I have no idea why the battery is good so if you want an old phone that has a good battery then by all means the HTC Titan will suit you well now just in case you are wondering we are looking at an 1350 milliamp power pack now I think that seems small today I mean my s7 has a 3000 milliamp power battery pack but um, I think for that time, that was 12 years ago, I think that was a lot of power back then. And I mean, the software is obviously optimized for that amount of battery. So yeah, all in all, I'm impressed with the battery. This is actually pretty interesting. Okay, now let's talk about that screen. We are looking at a 2.8 inch <laughs> screen, which is a tiny. The S7, which is already a small phone, has a 5.1 inch screen I believe back in the day this was a huge screen size we are looking at a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels so this is a 360p display and it shows man this the pixel density on the screen is really low the the text looks like windows xp back in the days on the old monitors i quickly looked up the display's pixel density and apparently this panel has a pixel density of 143 pixels per inch which is crazy that is good i have no idea how there are so many pixels per inch because yeah I mean look at it that's crazy uh, I have good news bubble breaker still works so um yeah it's it's fun um, the FPS seems decent maybe um, about 10 15 FPS something like that uh, yeah it's a gaming beast what else can you expect all right so let's quickly take a look at the internal specifications of the phone so we are looking at a RAM size of 128 megabytes now my s7 has 4 gigs of RAM so this phone has 0.01 gigs of RAM which is yeah that's it's essentially nothing compared to today and we have storage of 256 megabytes and phones of today come with minimum of at least flagships of 32 gigabytes that's like 5 fps this is high quality apparently oh there's the sim card i wonder where the sim card was all right you can keep quiet now so to end off today's video, let's try and take a selfie with a front-facing camera. This is going to be absolutely horrible, but uh, yeah, let's do it. That's horrible. 